Today I'm going to go ahead and share with you an energy pack that I carry in addition to my bug out chest pack, backpack, and machete. So this either straps to the front or the pack depending on the configuration and I'll show you both modes and how it can be carried. This is an energy pack that consists of a solar panel and as well as enough human food to last for about a week and a half, 10 days or uh, depending on what your energy requirements are. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get started here. So this is the energy pack. It has a 12 volt trickle charger designed to trickle charge car batteries or motorcycle batteries, diesel truck batteries, boat batteries, whatever dead battery you might encounter in the field, they may become useful to be able to to charge that with, with the sun. So that is the primary function of it, and that is how it is sold and built, that it will only recharge those items. But I found that with the proper adapters, I can step down the voltage. This is a 12, uh, provides 12 volts. However, it, uh, and it's about 0.85 amps. And depending on the, uh, the amount of sunshine that you have, I found that in very low light conditions, this is able to charge, but on a full sunny day, you're going to have no problems uh, recharging whatever it is that you want to charge, especially when it comes to smaller devices. So with the proper adapters, uh, you can charge a cell phone, a radio, a weather radio AM and FM band, uh, any small batteries that are capable of being charged uh, via solar or a USB cable. Anything that takes a USB, you can charge with this. But oddly enough, that is not the main reason why I got this. I got it so that I could have the ability to make my own colloidal silver in the field. That is truly nature's miracle medicine. I'm not gonna say any more than that. If you're curious, just do your own research. And you can research it on PubMed you can find a lot of good information on colloidal silver. I can, I can attest that it works. So, and the ability to uh, have that as a medical uh, tool in the field is going to bring you a huge, enormous uh, advantage when it comes to life saving. You want to be able to kill bacteria and microbes and even viruses. I said it, even viruses. So there you go. Enough on that. Uh, I do carry um, a multimeter because I want to be able to test this thing to make sure it's, uh, it's got the proper output. Uh, there are different ways I could do that, uh, of course. I could just plug something in and see if it's taking a charge. But what about the, the batteries that I might, uh, I might walk up on a car, open, open it up, and I have no idea how much voltage might be in that, in that battery. I turn the lights on it might be dim but that won't still won't tell me if, the, if it's a completely dead battery or not so that's why i carry a multimeter very useful when dealing with any type of electronic situations that you might come across in the field okay so enough on the uh on the sun all right let's talk about the human food my favorite part so i have enough calories here to last for maybe up to two weeks. And uh, your calorie consumption is going to depend on a lot of different things. You're no longer going to be in a normal situation. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of emotions involved, a lot of uh, perhaps fear, a lot of uh, phys physiological and psychological effects. So uh, for me, uh, what I've done with my food 
is I'm going heavy on the protein, and there's a reason for that. Because as, as, as I see a bug out situation, it is a endurance task. Uh, it, it is not like uh, aerobics. Uh, you put your pack on and you're moving from point A to point B and uh, you don't want to cook, right? At least I don't want to. So I just use chomps. I think these are great grass-fed beef, 90 uh, calories per. I've got 5,000 calories of beef sticks. And uh, the entire weight of this bag with the solar is 10 pounds. So that's, that's nothing. And I also carry honey. If I do need that burst of energy, this is a little bottle of Sue B honey. And I learned from a long camping trip ago that you want to put these inside of a Ziploc bag because uh, you know, if it leaks out, you'll have problems, but as I did one time. Okay, another major part, and this is what gets me up to 15,000 calories here, is I simply use a beef tallow. This is 9,000 calories right here. This is about 1,000, and then I got 5,000 here. So that's 15,000 total calories. Beef tallow, uh, also lard. Yeah, I prefer beef tallow. This is the most energy-dense uh, food that there is. And you might ask, well, why are you carrying beef tallow? Number one, I, I like the taste. Okay, if there's anything I do have to cook, I can cook it here using this. I have no problems putting a scoop of this in my mouth. I have no problem. I have salt and pepper if I want to do it. If I had to do that, I have no problems with it because I do enjoy the taste of a good beef tallow. It is shelf stable. This will last out, outside, requiring no refrigeration for up to a year. So I rotate it once a year. If I'm not using it, I'll put this in the fridge and go through it and get a new one and put it in my pack. So this is very good. Now the thing about beef, why did I pick beef and why did I go with beef tallow? Okay, and there's two main reasons for this. Beef uh, gives me the instant protein repair that my muscles are going to need. Now, if you think about uh, carbohydrates, they're wonderful, they're great. They will give you quicker energy because they digest a lot faster. But along with that comes a crash, okay? So if all you have are carbohydrates, uh, you have to consume those throughout the day to maintain that energy level. If you do not, you will crash. The thing about beef, it sits in your gut a lot longer, it takes a lot longer to digest, and gives you a much slower uh, consumption and feeding of your muscles and your, it's your muscles that you want to concentrate on because they're the ones that are uh, doing the walking and carrying the weight and they're the first to complain you you will feel your muscles complain but if you feed them throughout the day um, you'll be in much better shape at the end of the day when it comes time to get some rest same goes for for uh, beef tallow this here is uh, you know, as I said, the most calorie dense food you can get, uh, but also it takes longer to digest. Uh, there are studies uh, that have been published that saturated fat is, is okay for endurance type things, all right? And if you're hiking and you're in the field and it's uh, you know, a long trek, you can't go wrong with saturated fat. This, Saturated fat was given a bad rap in the 1960s when they did a seven country study and they compared uh, saturated fat diets with non-saturated fat diets and they made a casual link between heart disease and, and, and the consumption of saturated fat. But they didn't look at carbohydrates, okay? They didn't look at anything else. Well, now that study is slowly being overturned and I encourage you to do your research on saturated fat. It does get a bad rap. I'm not going to tell you what to eat or put in your pack, but that is, is the rationale behind why I've, I've added this to my pack. So it will give me a slow feed into my body. It will digest slower and uh, it will be consumed as energy. So 
it does not turn into fat in the body. If you eat a whole bunch and you're sitting around, you're sedentary, yeah. But if you're on the go and you're moving, that's a good thing to have. So that completes my energy pack. So if you have any questions, please drop them below and I would be happy to give you details on the adapters or whatever it is that, that you might be curious about. This is the Cold War Sailor out.